when um, George Hubbard was your teacher and the kid was misbehaving in the back of the room? Ralphie or Dowell. Across the room? Oh, well, George Hubbard was. George Hubbard was a pretty good teacher. He didn't work at it much, but he was a good <laughs> teacher. But, uh, I remember we had the hot lunches. I remember some of the mothers would bring out a dish, and I remember somebody brought down a dish, a dish of scalped potatoes one day, and we sat on the old heating stove to keep warm. And uh, uh, they were supposed to put some butter in it. And some girl was going to put the butter in. She said to Hubbard, she said, how much should I put in? He said, oh, a hunk. <laughs> That's when we were making the chocolate pudding, John. But that was, well, whatever yes. it was. The he girls did, were doing the cooking. He did very definitely. Yeah, yeah only a whole hunk. And we had the recipe written on the blackboard, and it called for butter. We asked him how much, and it said. Yeah. Uh, well, he didn't know it better, so. No. <laughs> See, all the women teachers used to teach us uh, poems, and old George never taught us but one, and that was, let's see. And, Aunt Jemima climbed a tree. She had a stick to boost her. And there she sat throwing corn at her old Shanghai rooster. <laughs> that <was> <laughs> <laughs> Never forgot it. Okay, now tell about the kid that was misbehaving. Oh, well, some kid on the back row. Ralphie Dowell. Ralphie Dowell. Well, he was always misbehaving. Anyway, <laughs> George Hubbard, instead of getting up and going back and boxing his ears, he heaved a book at him. <laughs> You get him? I don't know. Oh, that isn't the story that I was thinking was coming out. You remember, George, when he and Ralphie fought. Yeah, they got in a scrap. And they got out on the floor mopping around. And <laughs> Ralphie says, I'm going to kick you in the shins. And George says, no, you aren't. About that time, Ralph let him go in the shins. They were wandering around on the floor. And then Ralphie went home and stayed there for two three days. Then he came back to school. Didn't he start after George with the stove poker? Oh, I know. They probably had to poke right there somewhere. Yeah. 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 Ralph, Ralph was bad news. Yeah. 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 yeah, really. Is he related to the dowels that are around here now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, his uh, cousin is one of the uh, uh, one of the stalwarts in Burlington now. Oh, uh, Butch? Butch. Oh, yeah. Well, didn't Ralph die not too long ago? Oh, it's yeah. been several years ago. Yeah. He was over at Coldwater at the hospital when he well, he, he, he and his wife, they were going to, in a deal there, the Park Western would buy it out. Anyway, they wanted Ralphie in with him. His wife wouldn't let him in. So he went down to the tavern and stayed there and they took him to the hospital with ulcers, bleeding ulcers. Why wouldn't his wife let him in? Well, she, she didn't it was a bad deal, and it turned out to be a bad deal. Oh, it was a good deal. No, his, his oh, that, later. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, he should have got in. Anyway, his wife was against him. And so well, that, she kind of, was that disturbed him, Ralphie. So he went down to the tavern and went to drinking and stayed there. So he got he had ulcers anyway. And they got the best of him. He had to go to the hospital. They died. Well, not that time. But a little later he did. Oh, you know who she was, don't you? Yeah. She was, uh, oh, what was his name? Uh, used to buy wool for Bob Kerr. Yeah. He lived over in there on Lindley Road in Batavia Township. She was a worker, though. Yeah, it? she was a worker. I can't think of that old fellow's name now. Yeah, I kind of knew him. Yeah, I knew him. I sold him wool. Uh, Tell yeah. a Lammy Klein story. Huh? 